Hi guys, um, this is uh, Madam Retembro, uh, your admin on close attention page, uh, Facebook page. Please uh, do make sure that you follow us on our Facebook page, close attention. So this video is going to show you how to to convert um, or to save your file, a Word document, uh, as a PDF document and also upload it on my UNISA. So this video is for UNISA students. Okay, let's start. Let, let us not waste time. Uh, you can uh, download the if your phone doesn't have a Microsoft Word app or Microsoft uh, Office. You can download this app here, Office, which is called Office. You can download it from the Play Store. So you open your Office app. It will be like this uh, these are the documents that I already have so you just click add here there is a positive sign or a plus here which means you are adding or creating something so it will open like this now all you have to do is um, to click word as you can see there is PowerPoint forms Excel and uh, everything even the scan is there as you can see there is a scan there so you can also scan your documents using this office app okay so the documents that you are supposed to scan or assignments that you will be scanning are those that you are going to use your hand to write not typing uh, using the word document a uh, word app okay uh, assignments like uh, the ones which contain contains mathematics and other things that you cannot uh, be able to type so you can write them and open this app and click scan as you can see on your right so you open the word document here there is dictate dictate is the it is when you don't want to type when you want to use your voice to type like like you will be just saying words that you want to type and then automatically those words will be typed in there so i think uh, the best thing is to just type it yourself so you click black blank document so it will open like this uh, the format and everything is here you can just choose anything or for example on your right here when you click it uh, this something like an arrow on your right it will open like this so font and everything is here numbering blah blah okay then you write uh after that uh you click three dotted lines on your right okay three do oh, let me just type something here like this three dotted uh, uh on your right you click them it will be like this so you don't click save you can click save or save as if you want to save and come back later and finish okay you can click save as as you can see it will be like this so you choose where you want to uh, to store this document uh, but you are saving as a document because you just click save you are saving it as a word file so that you can come back later and uh, finish where where you have left off so let's go back in order to 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 share or to store your file as a pdf instead of a word document you click share so here i've clicked share and then you don't share as a link you come straight to share as attachment okay you click share as attachment and then you choose pdf as you can see there is a document which is a word document and a pdf which is a pdf file okay you click on pdf it is getting file ready and converting it to pdf so it will ask you where you want to save or where you want to share your document now you are sharing it uh, as a pdf as you can see there at the top there is document six that is a, it, it is my file name okay i didn't change it or uh, if you want to change it if you can look now at the top there at the top there is a, a document six and then they they return saved there so if you want to change it before you convert to pdf you click there on document at the top okay now let's look at the pdf option here let's go and share so my advice to you is to share it on your drive your phone's drive because just in case maybe if you lose your phone you can buy another phone or get another phone and still access the documents that you have stored 
or that you have saved on your um, phone's drive this one next to the cam scanner here for those who don't have a, a scanning app in the office app you can download this cam scanner from play store and use it to scan your documents okay let's uh, click drive here i want to save the document it will okay as you can see it is written i am sharing document with you so you must make sure that you just touch here as you can see you touch here and make sure that you type uh let me just say uh, assignment uh, assignment 33 so that i can remember it you are saving it to your drive this is my email address and then the folder is drive okay uh, let me just say dot pdf so that it can be stored as a pdf file okay you click save after that that file now is uh, being uploaded to google drive you can uh, first go to, to to your phone's drive and they check for the document it's assignment 33 remember so as you can see it is at the top here assignment 33 so when you click it there is uh, on pdf so let us now go to upload on my unisa we are going to upload on my unisa now so to access my unisa you can just click my uni my dot unisa dot ac dot ct and then it will open like this uh, and then with an option to click in your username and password okay you typed in your password there a uh, student number and the password and then you click login uh, as you can see there is an option for my admin my models 2021 and my models 2022 so let us go to my models 2022 okay it will open like this uh this uh format is new so please don't mind my mistakes here okay now we are opening menu it is showing a contact dashboard let us click on dashboard it will show modules uh, overview uh, okay these are my models uh, these are my models okay so now we are not accessing modules all right we want to submit the assignment so if you want to access modules you click menu and then you click dashboard and then modules overview as you can see assessment in education 22 blah blah year modules it uh, is it is being shown with this y so let us go to my admin in order to submit assignments you click my admin so when you click my admin you come and click these three lines here on your right to open the menu there is student admin blah blah you click uh, assessment admin it will open like this assignment submission examination results examination timetable so you click assignment submission it will open like this you click in your username that you use on my unisa and the password and then you click login the list of the models these are the list of the models that you have registered for all which is appearing here are the list of models that you have uh registered for 2022 okay so now i want to submit an assignment it's just that now here uh, we have not uh, given an, an option to submit uh, submit an assignment because uh, as you can see they are still busy with registration so if it is like this let me give you an example with um, AED 3701 the first one as you can see there is a assignment action there they are saying closed so when it if you you want to submit where they've written closed you will see an option that closed will be written submit so you just click there on submit okay yeah you click submit and then the next step will be to to type in your details uh the um, i think it's the train number and also you agree that you or to the terms and conditions then you click continue and then it will ask you to choose the file so the file that you'll be choosing you open from your drive your phone's drive so unfortunately now i won't be able to show you uh 
how to submit and then uh, I'll, I'll just try to create another video once the registration period is over so for now uh, this is uh, what you can do you click submit here uh, after the assignment due date has passed as you can see on the my first one there there is a due which is 29th april 2022 is the due date for my first assignment for aad 3701 so you click submit there under action you fill in the details that they are requiring and then you choose the file from the folder that you have stored in and then you come back and click submit after submitting they will send you a confirmation email on my live email then you will just go there and uh, open it okay uh, thank you so much guys for watching i'm gonna try to to create a very short video on how to submit the last part because now this option is currently closed okay even for multiple choice assignment so for multiple choice assignment you also come here and uh, click submit without saving anything because it's a multiple choice so multiple choice your question paper will have the multiple choice questions you can google you can research the answers find them from any source and then circle the answers from the question paper you circle circle so that or you can write them down that 1a 2 is b 3 is f uh, so 3 is c like that 3 is a and then until you are done so you come back here and click submit or, or, or on the multiple choice assignment uh, you click submit and um, you you will see an option to to fill in your details after continuing you'll be given an uh, online a uh, something like a template with consistent uh, which is consisting of the numbered it is numbered like one two three four going down also abc option abc so that you can choose whether it's one is c or not or, or f or d or one is is one d one at uh, to one e yeah you give an option from e to e so one e one b one c like that and then you click submit you also get the confirmation email on your my life email address okay guys thanks for watching i'm gonna try to to create another uh, video don't forget to follow our page which is close attention on facebook guys thank you so much for watching